It's been a tough uh, start uh, to the year, I think, with January. not just with the Philippines, uh, yeah, region-wise, yeah. internationally. Uh, but we also did want to uh, take up uh, one of the forward thinking things that are now on the table, uh, the creation of an interagency task force on zero hunger. Maybe give us just a, key, a, a quick background on, on, on this uh, uh, executive order. Yeah, well, basically, it's one of our sustainable development goals, no? one of our obligations to to that, the international community, is zero hunger by 2030. Mm. So we felt it best to already lay the foundation mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for achieving zero hunger by 2030. Mm -hmm. So what we hope to achieve is, we all know that hunger is you know, something that not one government agency or not one government department can handle mm. all by itself. It needs to have um, you know, the cooperation and coordination between departments and agencies. So mm. that's why we formed the president through Executive Order Number 101, formed the Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger so that all the coordination mechanisms that need to be done between and among agencies and departments will be done through this task force. Yeah, but, but short of saying that there has never been any uh, interagency coordination, which would, you know, uh, I'm sure it's, that's not the case. Uh, what changes uh, with, with the creation of, of an interagency task force? Uh, well, we need to draw up a national food policy roadmap. Because right now, presently, what we have is a, uh, the Philippine Plan of Action for Nutrition, PPAN, and that's under the National Nutrition Council, which is under the Department of Health. But over and beyond the indicators, the outcomes, the targets and objectives spelled out in the PPAN, uh, we need to expand that to cover more indicators and measurements when it comes to food security and involuntary hunger. Mm. So right now, we need a targeted approach um, in how to handle all of that. Um, so we need uh, the, necessarily the Department of Agriculture here and the DSWD. Um, in fact, we've already created a program. It's called the um, Expanded Partnership Against Hunger and Poverty. And this is expanded because we used to have a partnership against hunger and poverty that only um, involved uh, Department of Agrarian Reform, um, DSWD, um, and, uh, uh, and uh, you know, DAR and uh, DSWD. But right now, we're expanding the program to include DepEd, uh, BJMP. Um, and what it basically does is it links our government feeding programs directly to the farmers. So without passing through the middlemen, we will get uh, the agricultural produce from the agrarian reform beneficiary yeah. organizations, the, um, the Department of Agriculture farmers organizations accredited under DA, and the uh, irrigators associations under NIA. Kung ano yung mga produce na agricultural products, we will directly because may jail style. Jails. So sa jails and feeding ng jails, BJMP, oh. then the government hospitals under DOH. I see. And then the feeding program ng DepEd schools. schools feeding program yeah. and the DSWD daycare center. Okay.